What's up everyone, welcome back to Demon Souls Sorcery Only. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've been slacking a little bit on this series. Uh, I haven't... oh shit, I don't even know how to control this game anymore. I was just done playing Sekiro. Actually, I just finished Sekiro. And we're gonna go to Latria 2-2, which is... I mean Latria 3-2, which is what I promised. Here's the thing, there's no particular reason I've been slacking, it's just... I was just doing other things, working, busy with the dog, focusing on music a little bit, you know, all the usual, so really that that was just it, uh, not like I abandoned the series or anything. What we're gonna do today is attempt to make it through Latria. This is not the easiest area, but you guys remember uh, we were here not too long ago. And then we'll see kind of how the boss goes. This is one of the bosses I'm worried about. I am not gonna lie. Holy shit, these guys have a lot of HP. Yeah, th this is one of the bosses I'm a little bit concerned about. Because they are fairly difficult. And this run, I mean, this build is a bit glass cannon ish. I don't have the most HP and stamina and all that. God, that's a cool looking statue. A little like absinthe flame in it. It has the biggest bunch of bullshit. Uh, that absinthe preparation method. You know, where you like... Burn the sugar and shit. Yeah, that's just, like, just for show. Apparently you're just meant to... Um pour water into it through a sugar cube. I've had absinthe like once in my life, but the thing is I don't like anise, the anise flavor. Don't like licorice either because of that. Uh, and absinthe is made from that, so obviously ain't gonna be too big of a fan just by the virtue of what it is. But it's cool, I mean, the whole sort of like little ritual around it. And the fact that you can like get blasted on it very efficiently. Eff God, I can't talk today. Efficiently. I'm gonna be honest with you, Sekiro did take a lot of effort. Uh, Ishin Ashina, you guys know, final boss of Sekiro. Uh, that boy doesn't fuck around, so... Yeah, it, it, it was a bit of work. I guess I'm spoiling Sekiro, but whatever, you guys know uh, the episode is going to be the final one anyways. I'm not, like, giving away a massive secret there. Can I just, like... Yeah, yeah, I can. I don't plan on fighting every one of these fools, because that would just be not efficient. Yeah, I know about this ambush now. This is one of the... I fell off here in my previous playthrough. And I sure as hell remember this part now. Oh shit, is there... Oh yeah, there is two. See, before I didn't really have... an efficient counter if they're in the air. Hmm... Thanks for the cooperation camera, I didn't even hit him there. Fuck. We might as well kill him at this point. And just to show you my level of dedication, I'm not even gonna... like melee these assholes. Even though... by all rights I should. We ain't about that life on this playthrough. Spells only means spells only. Chain one down. Cut that Cuban link off of him, you know. As you do.
and this is the part uh, if we were in white world tendency there would be a platform here um, again I've done one normal playthrough and one challenge run so far so we've not really gone for any of the world tendency stuff don't worry I, I will do more playthroughs of this game because actually as you can probably tell I guess it's no big secret that I'm really enjoying playing this game I realized that I had like a bit of a, a hunger for Demon Souls. It was the fact that I was like unable to play it conveniently for a long time. Are we gonna rescue him? Hell yeah, we are. Coolest voice. No worry about him teleporting through us. Anyways, this is the platform we need to take to get down. Which I don't know why it didn't work from him. Why this didn't take him down to the swamp, but... Don't question the logic. So yeah, I realized that I did have a bit of emptiness in my heart for Demon's Soul. And no, that might be a bit grandiose of a term. But you know, I wanted to play this game. It's just there was, again, no convenient way for me to do it. And that is the reason why I'm going to do quite a few playthroughs. The trick here is always finding the way up. Oh, this is a magic thing, isn't it? I think it is. We'll check it out in just a bit. Give me a second. I think this is the one that restores MP, right? Fuck. Okay. Check your surroundings, always. That spell is so cool. Probably one of the best particle effects. It's just like really... Every spell has like the right animation to it. This is gonna be really, really good. What does it do? Slowly restores MP over time. This is game changing, I think, because it's tiny, like it really does recover a tiny amount of MP, but even a tiny amount of MP is something. It might just give me enough to, you know, save on having to use a spice. And then it does get significant. I'm gonna check out what happens if I soul arrow. Ah. Fire still works best. The lock on is a bit spotty here sometimes. And again, I should attempt to... Oh, hello there. Not kill every single one of these things. Actually, how much does this thing recover? Oh, does it not... Sh oh. It's that tiny? Damn. Oh, no, no, okay. N it's just you need to, it doesn't show a live man, okay. I knew it wasn't a lot, but holy shit. I'm almost disappointed. Not really, again. Look at it like a free gift card. Sponsored by honey.com or whatever. If you manage to save, you manage to save. This is not sponsored by honey, of course. Don't even think. I ain't big enough to get a YouTube censorship. Censorship? Did I? Ugh. Man, Sekiro really did fuck up my brain for today. 
sponsorship is what I meant to say. Yeah, blame Asian for whatever I mess up in this video. It's all Asian's fault. This will be interesting because we have red, red phantoms here. Or we will have red phantoms here. I was expecting a lot less damage, so... Hmm, okay. We, we can we can play it like that. Uh, no big deal. That was a shit ton, but cool. It's because of the Chris Blade, I always forget. Uh, it also makes me take more magic damage, but hey! Also makes you do... Whoa! Oh yeah, 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 okay. Let's just... Okay, I'm about to get killed here if I'm not careful. So I was gonna say, let's do a little Chris Blade test. Uh, live experimentation. Come on, fucking hell. 133 versus 155. See, now that... That is what I would call significant damage. If it increased something like by 10 or something, but it would be maybe worth taking a look. But then, like 20 points of damage, significant. I can't get bored of this spell. Too good. Ambushes here as well. Oh man, and, and you know, we haven't even gotten to the good stuff. When I get Firestorm, this shit will be easy. I hate that you can hit their corpses. Bruh. Okay, am I. Zero. It's the second time that's happened. I guess it's just like half a point of damage or something, and the game doesn't know how to count it. Oh, and is it gonna get dark on me? It's something I'm gonna have to get used to. Uh, I don't have my light plugged in either, my webcam light. The issue is, I recently got. Oh, don't even think about using that. I recently got a new mouse, a new wireless mouse, and I've basically used up all my USB slots on my PC. Which means I sometimes need to plug or unplug my, uh, my launch pad, which is one of my music things, to have this light plugged in. And I was using the launch pad and I forgot to switch. And I just realized that it might get dark on me because it's getting to that time where it's getting dark earlier, which sucks. But hey, you know, not to use the tired game of what the fuck, <laughs> the Game of Thrones reference, but winter is coming. And did you guys see that new Game of Thrones show trailer, the spin off? I think it kind of looks shitty, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know, man. The Targaryen bit, I feel like it's gonna... My fear is that it's just gonna be like a CGI dragon fest overload. Because clearly, you know, HBO didn't know what to do with the show towards the last two seasons, clearly. And I feel like if they're making their own original story, there's a chance it's gonna be a bit hit or miss. But I don't know. I like Game of Thrones, so I'm gonna watch it. I'm just hoping it doesn't disappoint. I feel like there's so many more interesting settings. Uh, there is a book which I always wanted, but I could never get. Which is like a companion book for A Song of Ice and Fire. And it has like a map, or like a world map. 
and I feel like there are so many more interesting places they could focus on. There's, for example, the Game of Thrones version of Asia, uh, which is a really interesting place. I feel like that sound... Oh, hello there. That could have been cooler locations, but I guess, you know, the Valyrian stuff is the thing that people know. So, hey. It's what's gonna happen. Anyways, I'm gonna pop back to the Nexus and buy a couple of items and all that, and we will pick it up from here. I keep... This is the Sekiro, the Sekiro issue. I keep automatically just pressing square sometimes to absorb money. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to make a beeline to the boss or at least try to. Um, again, I'm a, a little bit worried about this, but it could like magic could make them easier. But I don't know if I'm not too weak. HP wise and shit. That is what I was scared of. God damn it. I really didn't want to die in human form here, but f fuck it. Yeah, it sucks that that's like the one enemy you cannot run past. Actually, I can't run past these guys here either. Uh, so this might be sort of an MP waster going up these stairs. I did buy a shit ton of fresh spice because I had spare souls, but kind of sucks. Anyway, it's gonna depend on how much damage these guys take. If they're easy, it shouldn't be an issue. And they take the same amount of damage as the ones below. Nothing else, I'm hoping they at least drop plenty of spice up in here. Yeah, fresh spice. Because then it sort of balances out. I'm okay with that. And didn't they take out the second one? Yeah, I think they did. There used to be two of them here. Eight, eight spices. Nice. Super good. I completely forgot about that. That's gonna be like my... It should give us like a nice little base. Cool. So what I'm going to do is, uh, why not turn back into human form? I really, really don't want to die to this boss. So what I did might have just been stupid. And what we're gonna do is, I will put Latemon grass here as well. Bright water? This might be a bright water situation. I'm not sure. Okay, come on. Come on, Mark. You just beat Sword Saint Ishin. These guys should be bitches compared to him. Eighty-nine. Oh man, are they not taking as much damage as I thought they would be? Are they getting stunned by that? Do they not like fire? What I'm really scared of is the charge attack. Maybe this won't be too difficult. Cool. I'm gonna come over here and spice up. Are both of them there? Shit. That's kind of what I was afraid of. Where is he? Oh, you're stuck there. Idiot. Cool. I swear to you, this boss fight is so random. Sometimes they go to town on your ass and just destroy you. 
Sometimes their AI seems to like completely crap out. Sometimes they fly around for like... No, don't, idiot. Sometimes they fly around for god knows how long. It's a bit of a crapshoot. See, this is the attack I was afraid of, and the first one didn't even do it. It's like goddamn delirium from Isaac. And that... Just anything can happen. Sometimes the boss will, like, teleport on top of you. Sometimes it just, like, does nothing. It's a little bit strange. Come on, lock on. Yeah, okay. See, two of those and I'm dead. That's why we have the late moon. See, this is what I'm talking about. What is this guy doing? Who knows? Shit. Ah. <sighs> That's what makes this guy stressful. You bitch. I hate that it centers the camera. I need to look at turning that off. Come on. Thank fuck he decided to do that. God, it's getting really dark. This boss fight is always stressful, as I said. Unlike a vast majority of the other bosses, which are sort of pushovers, there's always a feeling here that it's just... It's a little bit out of your control. It's always been my feeling about these guys. Like you never know, they just might rapidly spam the push attack twice in a row and knock you off, allowing you barely any time to react. They do give a lot of souls, I can't fault them. Cool, this is, it's two levels. Uh, I think I might just pump up my int. Get a nice even 150. We have quite a lot left over. Obviously, I'm gonna check for spells. But I don't remember anything in particular that can be made from these guys' souls. Let's see. Iron Demon. Uh, enchant what? Okay, so no, no. I think maybe Yuria can make something. Maybe. And we should visit what's his name? Is gonna start killing people. Anyways, stock up on a bit of grass. I do have quite a lot of consumables. Maybe worth using. Hell yeah, why not? I think, yeah, I'm going to pump up my vitality just a little bit. I'm still under a thousand, which is not a problem. It's just we are getting into the later game here. It does mean that Half Moon Grass is going to carry us for a long time. If there's any advantage to that. The question, of course, is always where we're going to go next, and I think I'm going to try to make a beeline to Yuria as well to get her unlocked. 
which means I'm gonna try and take out the yellow demon in the next episode, which should give us access to Boletaria 1-3. We should be able to rescue her. Uh, I think that's gonna be the, the thing to go for. Sorry, I just missed you with that fireball. How do you handle the pew pew pew? Not very well. Uh, the walking towards you in a menacing way might be effective against certain characters. Against pew pew pew, it, it don't work. That was a... Uh... You're not very smart, are you? You are not very smart. What an idiot, he didn't even try to run, he's just like, hey, I'm getting pew-pewed, I'm dying. Cool. This guy really did wear gloom armor, maybe he did want to die. It's a shame. His armor is cool, it's just again, heavy armor in this game is a little bit shitty, because poise doesn't exist, so, you know. Well, I think that, now seeing that now I'm like almost in complete darkness on the face cam, I think this was like an exciting cap off to this episode of Demon Souls. Truly the most uh, engaging battle we've seen so far. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. As always, if you like this episode of Demon Souls, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here, turn on post notifications. I'm done with my speech, and I'll catch all of you next time. Goodbye.